Hi, Richard here from SafeX News. Now, on the, over the last few weeks, um, we've been seeing a few people having issues with backing up and restoring their SafeX wallets. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, do a, a best practice video to show you how to, one, back up your wallets, two, restore them, three, upgrade the wallets as well when a new version comes, and uh, just go through a few features of the wallets as well whilst I'm at it. So, for anyone who hasn't already got a wallet, the best place to get it is to go to safex.io. So that's the official website for Safex. And you'll see right at the bottom, there is a link here for each version of the wallet. So there's uh, Windows, Linux, and Apple Mac OS X. So for the demonstration purpose, and for the large majority of people who own SafeX, uh, I'm going to follow through with the Microsoft Windows installation. Now there is another section, another website that you can get uh, the SafeX wallet from, and that's from the official GitHub account for SafeX. Um, it's easy enough to find it through Google, you just uh, type in on Google GitHub and SafeX and it should be the first result there. Now to get a list of the latest and older versions of the wallet, if for whatever reason the latest version isn't working for you, um, you simply just scroll down, and you see a link here, you can download SafeX Wallet, click that, and it'll give you a big list of, first of all, the, the current wallet, so version 6 as of this recording, and also previous versions, version 5, um, there's version 3 there, and so on. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to download version 5 because later on I want to show you how to upgrade from 5 to 6 and it's the same process regardless if you're on version 1, 2, 3, etc. Now my internet connection is slow so I've already pre-downloaded this. So I'm just going to open up my downloads, execute the file, just give it a few seconds to install. And there you go, it's installed. There'll be a desktop um, link. Uh, there'll be a link put, uh, placed on your desktop. So if you run it, it'll load up the wallet. Now, if you're a first time user of the wallet, it'll uh, encourage you to create a new wallet. And it's a simple process. Simply pop in your password. Make sure that you remember that password. Write it down. Put it on a USB stick, it's important, absolutely important that you make sure that you remember that password because it will be required later for when you're uh, doing your backups and also for if you want to restore any of your backups as well. So uh, that's your warning, make sure you write down that password and you don't lose it because if you lose it, you'll lose access to your account. So this is the main interface. Um, version 5 is slightly different to version 6, so I'll just show you some of the features of version 6 when we get to that point. Um, a very simple wallet really. Uh, you've got your public address for your SafeX account, your SafeX wallet, the ability to send and receive SafeX. There is a settings page, so you can change your password and also the export features as well. So in this video I'm not going to go into the, the details of how to send and receive SafeX, I'll, I'll do that for another, um, another video. Whilst I'm in version 5, there have been a few people that have reported uh, a bug where <clears throat> the balance of their SafeX this one's this one's blank, so it's not going to affect it. But the balance of their SafeX account uh, appears zero, even though it's 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 clear that there are SafeX on the account if you look at uh, the Omni Omni Explorer website. So in this instance, one of the fixes that we found for it is if you press to archive, you then go to the archive tab here, and then press to home. Most of the time, that fixes it, and your balance appears, and um, everything's back to normal. 
So all I want to go through now is how to back up your wallets. Now a few people have seen, have gone into the actual, in, actual installation folder for SafeX. Now there is one within program files and there's also one uh, within your user files, in your user documents. And what they've been doing is copying that and putting it onto a USB stick. Now in theory, that's a way to back it up, but it's not the, the proper way to back up your wallets. Um, the reason for that is each computer has a different way of installing. Um, uh, environments are different, especially if you've got multiple hard drives, etc. And it doesn't always um, back up in the way that you want to. I know certain wallets out there, there's certain coins that have wallets that allow you to back up in that way, but that's uh, simply just not the way for, for the, um, the SafeX wallet. So the proper way to back up your wallet is by clicking the cog and you have two forms of in, um, export. You've got export encrypted wallet and export unencrypted, un, unencrypted keys. So for this stage, I'll just do an export encrypted wallet data file. And it will give you some explanation. Again, it will remind you that it requires a password, the password that you entered when you first created your wallet. So it will go through the, obviously the, the terms uh, with that, just to emphasize that you must have your password um, saved somewhere. And what we'll do is I'm just going to save this onto my desktop. Can you save it? And there you go. Now it won't be possible for anyone to be able to read that data file unless they had your password. Now it's always good practice to keep multiple copies of this DAT file. Uh, for example, I have my own personal wallet stored on multiple USB sticks. Uh, and I also keep those uh, USB sticks off-site and in different locations. So I've got a USB stick here. So it's literally just a simple case of copying it across. Then I'll take that USB stick out, keep it somewhere, uh, somewhere secure. Now there's another way to back up your keys. If you remember this button here, export unencrypted keys. Now this does a text file export of your public and private keys. Now it's important to understand the difference between public and private keys and I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for a video which explains it much better than I can. But simply put, your public key is what you give out to people if they have that key, there's nothing they can really do about it other than see your balance. They can't withdraw from it. Um, they can only send SafeX to that address. If they have your private key, however, uh, it would be possible for them to import your wallet into their own wallet and also be able to have access to all your money uh, to be able to send it to wherever they want. So it's important that only you know your private keys and you keep them safe and secure. So I'm going to do an export here now. I'll give you the usual conditions here just to make sure that you keep it safe. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's it's your own responsibility to make sure that your computer doesn't have any viruses, any spyware, or anything like that. Um, obviously, we can't take responsibility for that. It's it's it's, it's your own responsibility there. Um, but there is a certain level of risk by exporting your own unencrypted keys. Um, Whenever I do this, I tend to do it with my uh, internet turned off, and I'll do a, a quick virus scan just beforehand, just to make just just to be sure um, there's no issues there. So what I'll do is I'll save it onto my desktop again, and you'll see this file. It's uh, called unsafex. Funny enough, and if you open it, there's actually two keys here, as we mentioned. So your private key, which is that and then your public key, which is that. Now, there are different ways you can put a back up your private key. Uh, for example, you can write it down on a um, piece of paper. Uh, I've, I've done it myself. I've, I've written it down on a thick piece of card. I've even laminated the card as well, so it doesn't get wet if accidentally it gets sort of wet or anything and ruins it. Um, and uh, there are also uh, different ways of being able to 
encrypt that key in a way where you can split it up and um, we have to worry about it later. But I'll do another video on that because uh, I think that, that requires its own, own video. But effectively, that's your private key right there. So now we've gone through that, what I want to do is show you how to upgrade. So it's always good practice to back up your wallets during every upgrade. And all you have to do is the export encrypted wallet that file. It's always good practice to do that whenever you're doing anything which changes your wallet software. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Now to upgrade, it's simply a case of downloading the latest version, which we've already shown you from here or from the website. Run the file. And there you have it. Your previous wallet's still there. And everything's there. Now I'll also take this opportunity to show you some of the new features of version 6. Now it has all the same as the previous ones, there's a few bug fixes. Uh, for example the the, the archive and unarchive uh, trick that I showed you that happens in version 5, uh, that's been fixed. Uh, it also now has a history tab, obviously this is a brand new wallet address so there's going to be no history to it. And also the newer version has the ability for you to show you your private key. If you remember, you see how those two numbers match up there. So that's your private key. You should only be kept for yourself. So there you go. So that's the proper way to back up your wallets. <clears throat> now let's say, for example, um, you've changed the computer. You've changed your computer or your computer's broken down, you've got a copy of your backup and you want to install it. So I'll just pause the video here, whilst I replicate that I will uh, uninstall the SafeX wallet uh, so we're operating from a fresh new install again. So this is the new computer, as you can see there's no, there's no wallet already pre-installed on there. So what I'm going to have to do now is to re-import the backup file that we created previously. Now if you remember I put a copy of the backup on my USB stick so I'm just going to pop it into the computer. I have my backup file there. I remember my password so to import click import wallet, click that icon You find the backup file which you created, this is on the, the USB stick for me. Double click, put the password in, and then press import. There you go, you've restored your wallet, and everything's good. There's another way to do this, so I'm just going to pause the video again and replicate the same scenario again. I'll be back in a second. So in this instance, I haven't imported my wallet in, 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 in the way in the previous uh, example. What I'm going to do is import the actual private key. If you remember, we created this text file which had your private key written in it. Simply grab the key like that, paste it into here, click import key, and there we have it. There's your previous wallet imported back into your main wallet. <coughs> 